y'all this is Carly and I am back with you guessed it another wax haul so today I have a haul from Rose Girls Wax Melts this was from the most recent pre-order uh, I'm not sure exactly when I ordered this but I received it about a week ago this is September 1st and Jenny is actually open again today through September 3rd which is Sunday for the next pre-order and I am definitely definitely eyeing that because she has some more amazing looking fall blends. I really don't need any more fall. I should be waiting for Christmas but I know that her stuff would be just as amazing next year if I don't end up using it all up this year. So for the first time ever my order actually shipped in two boxes which if nothing else does that should probably show me that I may have a wax buying problem but that is okay. I have no regrets about this order because I love every single scent. But because it shipped in two boxes, I did get two samples, which I'll just show you one. So it'll focus on it. But this is Insider Delight, which is a blend of Cider Lane and Bakery. We don't know exactly what the bakery is. But this scent is available at the pre-order that's going on today as a half pie. I believe I'm not entirely sure uh, when I'll have this video up so it may be too late for you to get it by the time you see this but I am pretty sure I'm planning on grabbing some because it's a really really great scent. You get the classic Cider Lane, you get that really uh, sweet gooey caramel apple scent but you definitely also get a bakery note. So it's Cider Lane but amped up a little bit, definitely a little bit different. And I am super excited to melt this one. And this is, uh, the sample is her mini melters, which are just like little cubes of wax. But uh, in the pre-order, it will be offered as a half pie, which I will show you in just a minute. That's what I have in the very back, back there that you can barely see. Uh, at this pre-order, she does have muffins, chunk bags, half pies. And for the first time since I've been ordering, she also has loaves this time for $20 that I think is about the same amount of wax as a half pie. It's just in loaf format. So I'm going to dive right into the haul. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time because of how I have to have my phone set up for this and because of how I've done this layout. And I'm actually going to pause the video in between each scent and get the other one, uh, I'm sorry, get the next scent, kind of get set up for it and then show it to you and talk about it because otherwise it is a little bit of a gymnastic effort for me to try to reach as far as uh, some of the stuff is and show it to you and I don't want to knock over the camera and all of that kind of thing. So that's how I'm going to do this video. I hope that y'all don't mind that format. I already tried to film it once just doing it regularly and uh, it was kind of a pain. It wasn't working out that well. So anyways, we will go ahead and start with the muffins, which I can just grab because they're right here in front of me. And the first muffin blend that I have, if it'll focus, is Sarah's Blend. This is Blackberry Jam, Coffee, and Hot Fudge Brownie. And you get two muffin shapes. And I believe uh, that this is $7.50 for these two muffin shapes. So Sarah's Blend is a tribute to a member of the wax community who passed away a little while ago. Uh, I did not know her personally. I don't believe that I was in the wax community, unfortunately, when she was still part of it. But Jenny did make this blend as a tribute to her. It did donate uh, part of the proceeds to charity, I believe. And so I would have grabbed it regardless, but the scent notes also sounded amazing. So apparently this was a blend that Sarah came up with, the one that she loved, and it is really, really good. So I get the coffee. There's a really strong coffee in this. There's also a really deep, uh, sweet, rich blackberry scent. Not perfumey at all, just a really nice, uh, rich, jammy blackberry scent. Really good. If I really smell for it, I can get just a hint of kind of a chocolatey note, but this is not a scent that I would say you need to love chocolate to like this scent. Really, really good. Primarily a coffee blend with some of that uh, rich blackberry. So I'm really excited to melt that one. And then the other blend that I got in the Chunk Muffins is Wisconsin Woods. You can see this one there. So she didn't give specific scent notes for this one, but it is just like it sounds like. It is a really woodsy, earthy blend. It's really hard to describe, but it's very woody. It's very earthy. My husband doesn't like this one. He describes it as being perfumey, and it's not something that he really likes. I don't get that from it. I just get kind of a rich earthiness, if that makes sense. 
kind of the same, I guess you could consider that perfumey, but it's kind of the same type of scent as I would say like a patchouli or something like that. But it's just really nice and earthy, so I really like that one and I am really excited to melt that. The next scent that I have is Winter Mermaid. This is one of her chunk bags. This is $10.50. And I'm not sure exactly how many ounces this is supposed to be, but uh, I do get quite a few melts from one of these. Most of these chunks I would cut in half. So here is kind of a close up of one of the chunks, really pretty blues. And this is an amazing scent. So that Gilligan's Brew is a coconut scent that uh, Jenny has. I definitely get that. I get a little bit of a sweet, creamy coconut. I definitely get the peppermint. I would say this is overwhelmingly primarily a peppermint blend, but you do definitely get the coconut. And you do get a hint of that masculine shaving cream type blend. This one is really, really good. This will be so perfect for winter and so perfect for nighttime. This next blend is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Gilligan's Brew. So again, that Gilligan's Brew being a coconut scent. So here is a cube of that. And man, this one is just amazing. This is definitely a favorite from the order for me. You definitely, definitely get the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I feel like I get the sugar cookie. It just makes it even more bakery. Honestly, it smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, but just with an extra sweetness, with an extra bakery. And the sugar, I think the Gilligan's Brew to me is almost coming off as a sugar milk, if that makes sense at all. Because I get a little hint of something else, but it's almost a little bit milky, and I'm really thinking that it's that Gilligan's Brew. But I really, really like this one. Definitely one of my favorites from the order. This next one is Joshi's Island of Yummy. This is Strawberry Jam, Wild Berry, and Swizzle Sticks. And I really debated back and forth about getting this blend because I was really trying to stick to only scents that I considered to be fall or winter blends. And I wouldn't necessarily consider this to be that, but with uh, the Swizzle Sticks, which is just kind of a sweet sugary glaze, and with her Strawberry Jam, I just could not pass this one up. And it smells incredible. I'm so glad that I got it. It's almost like a really, really sweet candy type scent with that strawberry and wild berry. Because that Swizzle Sticks is just kind of a sugary scent. So it smells like that strawberry and wild berry with lots of extra sugar. This one is so, so good and I'm so glad that I got it. I definitely think that this could be a year-round blend. Super excited to melt that one. Okay, the next blend that I have is Spearmint Smoothie Frosted Cupcake, and I was really excited to try this because Spearmint is a scent that I kind of really thought that I would like, but that I haven't had that much of, but I do really like it. It's really nice. It does remind me of Spearmint Gum, so if that's something that would bother you, then you may not like this one, but I mean, I feel like Spearmint gum just smells like spearmint, so anything with spearmint in it is kind of going to smell like that. I'm really on cold just getting the spearmint. If I sniff the bag, maybe. Yeah, if I sniff the bag, I definitely get more of the bakery. I can get definitely get some uh, some sweetness and some bakery from that cupcake. But this one's really good. I think that this will be a really nice nighttime blend. This might even be a nice daytime blend during the winter. I'm really excited to try this one. Next, we have Blueberry Cream Nilla Wafers. And if you've been watching my videos for any period of time, you know that I love blueberry scents. And this one is one of the best that I've had. It is such a sweet blueberry. Such a sweet, creamy blueberry. You definitely get the sweet bakery from that Nilla Wafers. And I'm going to say again, this reminds me of having a snack when you're like in elementary school and you have, you know, like pudding and Nilla wafers and just, a, it's kind of uh, really nostalgic, I guess, is what it, uh, is the word I'm trying to think of. But it's so, so good. Just a really creamy blueberry with that Nilla wafers. I think that maybe even somebody who isn't huge on blueberry would like this scent. I know that there are some people that uh, really don't like blueberry, but this one is so sweet and so creamy that I really think that, that a lot of people would like this one. 
definitely one of my favorites from this order. Next, I have Hello Gorgeous. This is bergamot, peppermint, pink sugar, and lavender. And for me, this definitely has to win the award for the chunk colors. I love purple. I love pink. These chunks are so super pretty. And the scent is just as amazing. Now, I'm not too familiar with bergamot. But this is a really, really good pink sugar, peppermint, lavender blend. This just screams nighttime. It's so amazing. You definitely get all three of those notes. Again, I'm not too familiar with bergamot. I will say that it does smell like there's a little something extra in here. This is not just your typical peppermint, pink sugar, and lavender. But this is really, really good. If you enjoy nighttime blends like this, I think that you would absolutely love this one. It's so, so good. The next scent that I have is one that I know that a ton of people were super excited for. This is Peeps Cake Fluff Puffs. I believe that Jenny has had Peeps in some form at every single restock since she first came out with it. Peeps, I believe, is a blend of uh, yellow cake and marshmallows and, you know, Peeps. It's just really a cakey, sweet, marshmallowy, yummy scent. If you like bakery, it's something that you would absolutely love. And obviously, Peeps already has Peeps in it, or Peeps Cake already has Peeps, so it already has Marshmallow. But this is Peeps Cake with Fluff Puffs, which I believe is just adding even more marshmallowy goodness. Oh, and this one is so amazing. It does smell like Peeps, but you definitely do get a lot more Marshmallow. So it's just, instead of being maybe a fourth or a third marshmallow with the regular Peeps cake. This one I would say is half and half between that Peeps cake and the marshmallow. And it's so, so good. And to me, it's enough different from Peeps cake that I would definitely want to have this one even though I have regular Peeps cake. I don't even want to stop sniffing this one. It's so, so good. I love marshmallow blends and this one has so much just pure marshmallow. If this one is a good thrower, I cannot wait to have just that sweet marshmallow scent all throughout my house. So this next one is another one that is also a twist on a recent favorite. This is Carbs Noel, which is Cookies Bread Bakery and he oh, I'm sorry, Cookies Bread and Bakery Heaven. So carbs she had in muffins, either last restock or the one before that. And it was just a really wonderful bakery blend and so many people loved it. So this one is just that scent mixed with vanilla bean Noel, I believe. And it is so, so good. And to me, it's not hugely different than carbs. To me on cold, it doesn't really smell different. When I smell it in the bag, I guess I get a little bit more of kind of a creamy vanilla, but it doesn't smell too different on cold from just carbs, but I love that scent so much, and I only got one pack of muffins last time, but I'm really, really glad that I was able to get this in a little bit bigger quantity because it is a fabulous bakery scent. I haven't melted it yet. I've been waiting for fall, but I know I'm going to use this so much in fall. It's so good. There is a little bitty bit of a hint of cinnamon to me, but I don't think it's something that would be offensive to anyone who likes bakery at all. So, so good. This next one is Circus Concession, and I have heard, I believe from Angie, uh, her used hoob is Wax Goddess, that uh, Jenny blends her own Circus Concession. So there is a Circus Concession oil, but this is not just that oil. This is a blend that Jenny makes herself. And Circus Concession normally has like funnel cake and apples and popcorn. And just everything that you can imagine that you would get at a circus or at a fair. And this one is perfect. I think that this is a great fall transition scent. I don't know if I'll use it that way this year just because it hasn't really had time to cure yet. But it is so good. I definitely get apple. I get bakery. I feel like I get popcorn. It's so, so good. It just smells like being at the fair and it's amazing. And I feel like it's even so much better that she blends it herself. I, I may have to try at least a chunk or two of that, or I'm sorry, of this this year just to try it out for a fall transition scent and then save the rest for next year, but it is so good. Next, I have Harvest Bake Sale Noel. Again, another absolutely perfect fall scent. 
This one is so good. I definitely, it's really hard to describe all of these because they're just different variations on really yummy bakery, which I love for fall. This one I would say is bakery with quite a bit of apple. I'm definitely getting apple from this one. I think it may have also had pumpkin in it as well. And maybe just a hint of cinnamon. Let me smell the bag. Yeah, I believe this one was like apple pumpkin bakery with a hint of cinnamon. I could be wrong. Again, I don't remember exactly what all of these were. But if you are a bakery lover, then so many of these would be the scent for you. Because this one is so, so good. It will be perfect for fall. Next, I have Cider Lane Pumpkin Cheesecake and Vanilla Ice Cream. And I have to admit that out of this whole order, this is one that I'm not 100% sure about on cold. And I think it's that cheesecake that's coming off just a little bit weird to me for some reason. I can't really describe exactly what it is. Let me sniff the bag. I don't know. Something about... That cheesecake and this blend is just not my favorite on cold. I can't really describe what it is, but I am still really excited to melt this one because I've yet to try a Rose Girl scent that I just didn't like, and especially a fall scent. I love pretty much any fall blend. I'm a huge, huge fall lover, so I'm still really excited to melt this one. I can get the Cider Lane, definitely. There's a sweet creaminess from that ice cream. I really think it's just the pumpkin cheesecake that doesn't 100% agree with my nose on cold, but that really says nothing about what it's going to do on warm. And I'm sure that I will love this once it is melted. So you will for sure see this one in a warm review, I'm sure sometime this fall, and you can see how I liked it on warm. The last chunk bag that I have is light as a feather, stiff as a board. This is leaves, amber, sandalwood, and toasted marshmallows. And this one, I believe, was the top seller from this restock because so many people who had had it in the past were absolutely raving about it. I know that Liz from Notorious Liz 64, I believe is the, is the number, absolutely loves this blend and was raving about it and suggesting that everyone get it. So I think that that, along with several other people talking about it, was one of the big reasons that everyone wanted to try it. It is so good, though. It's such a smoky... I don't know. There's a little bit of a muskiness about it, almost like a bonfire type note, almost, that I get. I, it's really, really hard to describe, and it's a little bit earthy, and you get, uh, you definitely get the sandalwood, which I love, and my husband loves too. I'm trying to smell the bags so that I can see if I can describe it better, but just, I don't know. There's an earthiness about it. There's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. There's an earthiness about it. You get the sandalwood. I get a little bit of a smoky scent. You get the sweetness of the marshmallow. This is just an all-around amazing blend. If you haven't tried this one for fall, if you get an opportunity, I would definitely recommend it. If you don't like it, this one would be so, so easy to de-stash. Okay, on to the chunky half pies. This first one is in zucchini cotton candy cake pops. These are $20 and you get four pie slices. And I would say I get at least four to six melts out of each pie slice. So here is one of the pie slices up close. And, you know, you can kind of see it next to my hand that has wax all over it, how big that is. So a huge quantity of wax. And this one smells so good. Her zucchini is nice and creamy. You definitely get the cotton candy and the sweet cakiness. This is just a super sweet bakery blend. I'm smelling the bag just because I want to because it's so, so good. But you definitely get the cotton candy and the zucchini bread or kind of that bakery part of it in equal parts. I would say this, again, would be an amazing transition to fall scent or just a full-on fall scent. Really nice bakery. And if you like cotton candy, you would love this one because you get a lot of the cotton candy in this. My second half pie is an October's. I believe that this was a new scent to this restock. This one is green apple, Macintosh apple, and lavender apples and oak. And this one is just absolutely gorgeous with those colors. I am so, so excited to melt this one. People were raving about this, couldn't wait to try it as well. Not raving in the sense that they'd had it before because I think that it was new, but just everybody was really, really excited for this one. 
Oh, and it is so good. You get so much of that apple. And then you get that classic uh, kind of apples and oak type thing. If you've smelled that scent before, uh, that oak is kind of musky almost. And I hate to say it, but just a tiny, tiny bit perfumey, kind of an earthy muskiness. Oh, this one is so good. I can't really differentiate, you know, oh, you get green apple and you get mac apple. I just get like an apple from the green apple, mac apple, and the apple that's in like the lavender apples and oak. I don't really specifically get the lavender, but I would say that overall this is a blend that you can melt at night or during the day in the fall. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. It's so, so good. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you like apple and if you like kind of an oaky earthy type scent I really think you would love this one and the very last scent that I got is a half pie and raspberry cream cheese rolls this is another one that I kind of debated on a little bit because it's not really a full-on fall scent but I love raspberry I love cream cheese and I had to get this one and it is so good the raspberry is so sweet it's such a sweet raspberry. I don't get any type of floral at all from this. It's just a really sweet, rich raspberry. You definitely get the cream cheese, but it's a really nice creaminess. It's not too tart or tangy. It is just a tiny bit, but the way that you would want cream cheese to be. Oh, this one is so good. And there's really, I mean, I don't really get any bakery from this one, except for what comes kind of from that cream cheese. So I get kind of an equal parts, that sweet raspberry and that kind of really rich creaminess from the cream cheese. This one is really, really nice if you like blends like that. So that concludes my most recent Rose Girls haul. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm so, so excited to melt all of these scents. I'm so excited for fall. I am planning to do a little bit of damage at the restock or at the pre-order that she has going on right now. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment down below and I will see you soon in another video. Bye guys.